Welcome back to Getting Real with Olivia. It's your baby girl. Oh, um, my people, like, there is something that is happening on social media now. Everywhere, everybody just they give buzz buzz. Hey, hey, don't be smart, you know. There is this guy called those guy I think right here. This guy called Emade Tamiyu. Emade Tamiyu. Emade Tamiyu. He's a Nigerian. He's a YouTuber. Hey, this guy go Miss Yano for BBC interview where they call him. Hey, my people. Don't be smart, you know. If you know the kind of people where this guy don't spoil their better life, where they don't plan, finish, eh? Hey. They call this guy for BBC interview. Ask some questions, you know. And he's not the first person to be asked this type of question. I will talk more about the other person they have asked this kind of question before. But let's finish with this, uh, this uh, Emma Day. Emma Day, Emma Day, he's a Yoruba guy, okay, based in UK. And he just traveled to UK. He never said just 2022 that he traveled to UK. Almost this way he talk this thing there. Eh? All the information don't go south. Trust online people. They don't go dig out all the information everywhere. They don't go bring them out. Say, wait till they do this guy. I go go this time because talk say Nigerians where they come uh, UK. Say all of them, they are not coming because of the certificate or because of the school that is just there for them to come in. They are using the school, this thing to come in. Then once they come in, they just say, uh, you know, relax and do what they actually came for. No, that's that Nigerians are not coming into UK because of the certificate or because of the school which they are using to come in. Hey, <laughs> my people, can you imagine this kind, Miss Yan, Miss Talk? Which, 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 which kind of sense be this one? Like this guy, what, what is his problem? I don't know why Nigerian people own two day different. You go, you go see better thing. You go enter. You don't go want me your brother come because he don't go now. She be don't enter UK. You know what me others enter. He said other people, Ghanaians, Indians, Pakistans. If they enter, they go make space for their brother and their sister to come in as well. But Nigerian people, if they enter, they won't lock all the doors. You won't make it the only you will go enjoy. And the one when they pay people pass, say eh, as they don't give, then as the UK government don't talk, say all the Nigerian people when they come now say. You can only come and study and do the since you are coming with study visa. You know, since uh, this girl don't open their niche, say they, they come with study visa in a common flight. Say no be waiting that they come for na they come fire another thing. But now greener pasture they find come whether they come with a study visa or with another thing. Now greener pasture. Person when come school after school, you know go one since you have seen better things in this country. Who do you want your brother and sister to come and experience that same thing that you have seen in that country? Eh, is it bad thing for you to come for you to not say, Oh, my family member, so since I came into this country, it has been so good. I love their system, I love everything they do here. Oh, yeah, come so that you get the education and be civilized and enjoy greener pasture as well. Now, bad thing, why this guy go missing for 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 question where they ask him, he go missing. Eh, a youtuber for that matter, yeah, give me your why you not concentrate on your content, or if you turn the interview that say you know Sabi talk, yes, if you tell them say you know Sabi talk. Because my people, eh, I the boy, I the vet for here where you see me, I they try control myself. Because if I talk I'm as it be me for heart with this Miss Yan, this Miss Talk, where this guy go Miss Talk for for a whole BBC interview. Can I don't believe I say a Nigerian can talk like this, can say something like this. Like, do you know what it means? Eh? What does they protect? They protect their people. Then they protect their people. You, you go carry your own people, nash, go open up for public. If say na Igbo guy talk this thing, na they for say ah no be send them. Say that Yoruba guy na who send them? Na Baba send them, Abi. What on I go talk about this one? Na no, me will talk. Na Baba send them. But me, I know they about tribe where you come from. The only thing be say the guy too miss yeah. The guy here, yeah, he no sabi anything. He just be he just be YouTuber we don't get brain. Which guy thing be this one? Eh? Just imagine. The people that already in that country already, in that UK, they must have sold the pin they have in Nigeria before leaving. They must have toy day and night for them to move to that country. You know, they, I'm sure they don't have anything here again before they move to that place. Now that this guy don't scatter everywhere, what would they do? How would they survive? The UK government said, as from next year, that if you're in Nigeria, if you're coming into that country with study visa, you can only come straight and study and go back you will not bring your families you will not bring anybody into that country you will just come and study they will not even give you a permit to work just study and go back to your country just imagine that kind of a thing okay 
if they now establish this law that they are about to establish, what will happen to people who are already there? What will happen to them? So they will not suffer because of one one year, year person we saying be in the Nigerian person. In fact, he doesn't even know anything from from everything he, he said in that interview. It's obvious that guy is a fake Nigerian. He doesn't even look like like from what he's saying, he doesn't know much about Nigerians. Most of the things he said in that video are not true. So they just asked uh uh when no be correct Nigerian person the question that because if they're not correct Nigerian person like a bona fide Nigerian person, they ask that question. The person for reply and where after the reply, you go no say truly this person now in Nigeria. There's another person they ask that kind of a question. I said it earlier. This Emeka Doctor Emeka Okorocha. Doctor Emeka Okorocha is such a brilliant doctor. You will know that this person is a full fledged Nigerian. This person now full Nigeria. This person now from Nigeria. You go no say. Emeka Okorocha, na Nigeria person. You will hear that when you hear him talk, you will know that this guy is educated. That other word, like say, you don't even go to school at all. He just manage on YouTube, just the blog, you don't know anything. I don't know what's him be a problem. Even person when no day educated cannot even talk like that guy. I am telling you, this is not a matter of education, whether you're educated or not. The thing be say that guy, eh? <laughs> if I say, if I call a waiter, one call, I call so my people, I do invest. Which can be seen and be this one. No, we'll read waiting, Dr. Emeka Okorocha said during his own interview. He was asked exactly the same question that um, this uh, MRD was asked. Let's hear his reply, how he answered his questions brilliantly, excellently. Let's hear what he said. A Nigerian doctor, Emeka Okorocha, uses statistics to explain how Nigeria contributes favorably to the UK through the dependent system. Okoracha, who spoke during an interview, disclosed that he became a doctor in the UK after his father, who is a surgeon, migrated and brought him and his siblings along. Counting claim of Nigeria being a poor country, the Nigerian-born doctor who described Nigeria as a developing country stated that over 27% of health officials who contribute to the welfare of citizens of the country are not British. He also stated that it is part of the culture of Nigeria to give their family members a better life, hence why they come with dependents. Have you seen it? Brilliant answer. Awesome answer, good answer. That is this is this is how to know a full Nigerian. This is how to know a full-fledged Nigerian, a Nigerian to the core. Can you hear how he can you guys hear? Did you guys hear how he answered it? Well, just imagine Emade was asked, he was blabbing. He was blabbing. Now he has made life so uncomfortable for others. He has he has brought brought hey god do you know how those people here will be crying now because of this guy even the people that want to go there the people that want to move over to this uk the people that have finished planning they have finished making arrangements do you know how many families will be crying because of what this guy said on bbc just imagine it and that is why people are giving it to him water water in the comment section people are really giving it to emma day this youtuber what what is this and you are coming out to come and apologize. Apologize for what? What are you apologizing for when the deed has been done? You have done what you have done. And the UK government, they have taken it so serious. They have made a law. So what are you apologizing for? Now, no. Are you, if you are really sorry about what you did, go back to them and tell them that you are not a real Nigerian. In fact, you are not a real Nigerian. That is a simple fact. Go and tell them. that. Tell them. Go, go, go. Go, go and make an amends with what you said. You are the one who said it. So go back to them. Let them reverse what they said they would do. What kind of a thing is this? Do you know how, how people are crying? People have spent their hard earned money for this program. And you're here bringing bad luck to them. Kai, hey, just because you are there. You are there and you don't want others to come in. Why don't you speak for yourself or for your family? Maybe you and your family, that is the, you are using that student visa to take an excuse. That's not why you are going there. You should have spoken for you and your family 
and not for the rest of the Nigerians. Because I know that there are things that there are people that are moving into UK so lonely for education, just for them to go and get that uh, British education. That is why they are there. That is why they are there. They do not go there for any other thing. And when you move into a country, I say the country is good. Why would you bring your family to it? Why would you bring, if you don't bring your family into a country that you know that is working because our country is still, is still developing. If you don't bring them in, that means you are not a good person. You are not. And that is the kind of person that this Emade is. You are not a good person. That is why you don't want others to benefit where you have benefited. Is it good? See how people are praising Emeka Dr. Emeka Okorocha. See how people are praising this man for how he answered, for how he defended Nigerians, for how he spoke for Nigerians. Because a lot of people are suffering and they want a greener pasture. They want a good place. They want to go and make ends meet. They want to go and work for their family. They want their family to be to experience good life. Now, bad things say you want your family to experience good life, experience good things of this life. And you are blabbing. You are saying what is not actually the fact. What is your problem, Emma, Emma Day? What is your problem, Emma Day? Let's read how people praise this Dr. Mecca. They said, I'm super proud of this Emeka. Wow. Hope, this person said, hope you all can see the difference between an Igbo man and a Yoruba man. We Igbos naturally look after, look out for each other whenever we are in the streets abroad. But typical Yoruba man will always want to be the only king in his streets abroad. Can you imagine? In Davido's words, we rise by lifting others. People are talking about Yoruba, Igbo, Yoruba, Igbo, because he's this and all that. It's not all about, for me, it's not all about being Yoruba or Igbo. It's just that that guy is not, me, I'll tell you that that guy is not a full-fledged Nigerian. Go and check it. Make investigation. Maybe, maybe say, now nah, I won't have this thing from somewhere. Because a full-fledged Nigerian cannot speak like this, cannot talk like this, no matter what. I just love what this person dropped. This person said, it's not about Igbo and Yoruba. It's simply about a well-educated man and a half-educated man. Did he even get that half? He's not. He's not just educated. If I say, if I say, the way the way I'm boiling, it is well. It is well. God will also judge him. God will give you your own. Since you 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 have you have put cry like you have put tears on so many people's eyes, they are crying now because of you. Don't worry, God will visit you as well. Mm, God will visit you. Chibi, that's what you want. God will visit you. Don't worry. So, my queens and kings, you guys have seen how everything has turned out. We just pray that they reverse, the UK government reverse what they have said about Nigerians not moving into their country again with their family members. Thank you so much for watching. It's still your girl getting right with Olivia. I love you guys to the morning. I'm back and see you guys in my next one.